Right, well what I've got here is a 1951 Worcester D-type engine. It's your typical barn find in a very sad state of affairs. Petrol tank was missing off it. The exhaust was missing, as was the chain guard. Uh, so I stripped the engine down, had a look inside. Luckily it was still turning over so it hadn't seized up. But whilst the engine was stripped, I had a good look round and it was in very serviceable condition. So I bought some new piston rings for it, new cylinder head gasket, rebuilt it, uh, I made a new petrol tank, exhaust, chain guard, got it all painted up, put it back together. Uh, I've had it running a few times now, there's been quite a few little tweaks here and there with it to try and get it running just smoothly. I had a problem with it, it wouldn't fire over after, it had, after its initial run. Uh, and I put it down to a condenser problem, so I put a new condenser into the uh, into the magneto. The magneto itself was absolutely shot; that had to be completely stripped and uh, rebuilt. So what I'm going to do now is attempt to fire it up. Now, last time I tried to do this, it wouldn't fire. So fingers crossed. Let's hope it works this time. So I've done all the usual checks with it, filling oil up, topping up the uh, the governor box. We we'll return the flywheel back round. Backwards just to compression. Pop the handle, starting handle on. Remember to get the thumb out of the way so we don't hurt your thumb, it cracks back on you. And we'll just turn that carburetor to a start position and then. I kept it filming then I could have really got it going then. Let's see what happens when it should just it should just start up again now. Filming. 